Good afternoon and welcome to Bright Like the Sun, a media conference being brought to you by Sun Life. Today, we will celebrate the people who make our lives brighter, our partners for life. Please welcome the singer and songwriter behind the hit songs, Ikaw at Ako, Right Time, and Buntong Hininga, Mr. Janoy Danao. It's the way you make me feel I can be who I want to be I can never ever be alone With the love that's bright like the sun From the moment that we met I knew it would be something I won't forget Ahead and turn my world around with your love that's bright like the sun. I love you forever, that's for sure. And promise I'll keep you warm. Our love shines bright like the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Shanoi Danao. Want to hear a full version of that song? That's coming up in just a bit. He will be back for another performance later on. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Sun Life Brand Ambassador, Mr. Piolo Pasquale. Hello everyone. Good afternoon and uh, how are you guys doing? Nakakain na ba kayo? Hi. <laughs> of course, we'd like to thank John Aydanao for the wonderful performance. How, how about a hand for him? Yeah, come on, guys. It's a great song. It's a, it's a different version of uh, Brighter Than the Sun, and it's, it's got really nice lyrics. You know, later on, he'll sing the full song. But anyways, um, ako po si Piola Pascual, and I'm happy to, to be spending this afternoon with you. Not just, of course, uh, not just the people here in the venue, but also those who are also joining us virtually. I hope everyone is doing great and staying safe. Well, it's been two years actually since the pandemic started, and I'm sure that tulad ko, marami po tayong uh, mga kwento na nangyari throughout this time, and of course, realizations sa buhay natin. You know, for me, I learned to value my loved ones, especially my mom, because uh, I was stuck with her uh, by choice during the pandemic and I just want to highlight of course my mom you know at the height of the lockdown we were in Batangas uh, we've been living there for three years now and you know it's a really special time with my mom because we were able to spend time together bond with each other you know in the morning I would uh, uh, force her to walk so she could do her exercise in the morning and of course have some vitamin D and sabay kami kumakain we'd watch TV together so it was a re it was a really special moment with my mom because, of course, lahat naman tayo, before the pandemic, we were all busy with our work and with our personal stuff. You know, my mom and I were partners, you know, in keeping each other safe and making the most out of the pandemic situation. You know, my mom is very caring. Uh, as some of you may know, I'm a mama's boy, and I'm proud to say that because, of course, my mom really raised us uh, by herself. And I wouldn't be here standing in front of you if my mom, you know, didn't raise us or didn't bring, didn't bring us up the way that she did. Anyway, so I'm thankful for her for that. Kayo, who do you consider your partner in life? Diba? Whoever they are, guys, let us celebrate them for making our lives brighter. Kagaya ko, ang, you know, this, uh, this, this video I'm gonna show you, uh, pamilya din po ang naging uh, inspiration ng overseas Filipino worker na si Jolina Kabigting. She's all the way from London. She works there as an accountant and she works hard for their future. Also, so she can come home for good. All right, so panoorin natin ang kwento niya. Nahirapan talaga ako mag-decide mag abroad bago ko nun umalis. Hindi ko ma-imagine na gigising ako ng gisa at hindi sila katabi. This is the story of Jolina Joey Kabigting, an overseas Filipino worker based in London. Growing up, maraming naging pagsubok sa pamilya nila. Nawala ng trabaho ang kanyang ama na isang la ang bahay nila at ilang negosyo ang sinubok ng mga magulang niya pero hindi nagtagumpay. The 
Despite all these, nanatili silang matatag. Joey decided to try working abroad. Nahirapan siya nung una. Lumalabas ako, kasama ko yung mga kaibigan ko. Nag-explore kami, pumunta kami sa mga magandang lugar dito. Inaisip ko na sana kasama ko sila dito. Being on her own made her realize the importance of financial planning so she can come home for good. Talaga ako marunong kumawak ng pera. First time ko si Pupita kaya medyo dumadami yung gustong bilhin. Isa din sa motivation ko is for my future family para hindi na din nila pagdaanan yung mga pinagdaanan namin noon. Mabuti na lang, her friend Rochelle Ilaw Delor, a Sun Life Financial Advisor, was there to guide her. Matagal na po kaming magkaibigan ni Joey. Since nag-aaral pa lang siya, friends na po kami, nagkakilala po kami sa church. Ginabayan ni Rochelle si Joey para makapag-ipon, mabayaran ng credit card, at makakuha ng insurance para sa kanya at mga magulang niya. Pagdating ko po dito, yun po talaga yung naging priority ko na makuha na din yung parents ko ng insurance para at peace din ako at na-secured sila. Tama po kayo na kahit malayo po ako, may way po ako pagkagaan sila. Sobrang nakatulong sa akin na makinig kay Ate Rochelle noong mga panahon na yun kasi sa tingin ko naman okay lang yung ginagawa ko pero hindi na kasi talaga kinakaya. With Rochelle as her partner and through Sun Life's Home for Good program, Joey is able to build a brighter future for herself and her family. Kahit in simple ways, we show our love to them na we'll be able to protect them. Kasi magkakaroon tayo ng peace of mind knowing na in case of emergency, meron tayong paghuhugutan. That's what it's like to have a partner for life. Grabe, no? You know, our love for our family always pushes us to be our best, to do our best. And thankfully, and in Sun Life, na, you know, they help bring to life the dreams that we have for them. I know this for a fact to say, you know, I've been a Sun Life client for so many years, for more than a decade already. And over the years, Sun Life has given me the confidence to pursue my passions. That is because I know I am financially protected. Ganito rin po ang kwento ni Camela Crisologo Sin. She's a business owner who owns a popular food brand. So here's her story. What's it like having a partner for life? This is the story of Camela Crisologosin. Camela's journey to being a business owner started when she opened her own small catering business. As a new mom na isang overseas Filipino worker ang asawa, naisip niyang magandang paraan ng catering para kumita siya while taking care of their baby. When her husband Tony came home for good, they opened the business in Dagupan. Mainit na tinanggap ng mga taga roon ang kanilang panaderya Antonio Bakery. Sinundan nila ito ng isang original concept, Plato Wraps. They eventually opened in Manila. Plato Wraps was a hit, and soon they were able to open more branches nationwide. Aminado si Camela na when the pandemic happened, labi silang naapektuhan. The past two years have been difficult, but they are slowly recovering from the challenges. They reopened their branches and even ventured into food app delivery. This year, Plato Wraps is set to mark its 21st anniversary. A key factor in Camela's success as a business owner are her financial skills. She knows how to budget. She separates her personal expenses from her business expenses. And she relies on her Sun Life insurance and investments to protect her family, savings, and income. Because of this, she was able to not only survive the crisis, but even thrive. She can also focus on her other passions like traveling and being a Lola to her apos. And still look forward to a brighter future. That's what it's like to have a partner for life. Alright, how inspiring, right? You know, how many of you here are actually like Camela, who's also just like taking care of her grandkids and just really feeling financially stable 
And it's really nice because, you know, we always know that we can achieve a lot of things, especially when we know that someone or somebody is supporting us, you know, who's there for us during the good times, but especially during the bad times and the difficult times. Gaya na lang tong susunod natin, you know. And uh, before that, I'm going to say, you know, during the pandemic, a lot of us have either, you know, lost a loved one or, you know, somebody in the family that became ill. And these are the times that we really need to have someone who can tell us that, hey, I am here for you, right? Yung bibigyan ka ng lakas ng loob para makaahon ka sa kahit na anong pagsubok. So ito po ang kwento ni Jeff Beery. Let's watch this. 2021 is the year when my mother passed away from COVID. Uh, it happened so quickly. Uh, I think it was the second wave of the virus. This is the story of Jeffrey Vidi. 2021 was no easy year. Jeff was among those who faced challenges and heartaches as his mom Florencia tested positive for COVID-19 at the height of the pandemic. So dead people are lying around the hallway of the hospital, and I have to um, ask my mom to calm down. I had a headset so that she could not hear the screaming, the crying, the uh, frustration because she was in the middle of a storm, she was in the middle of a fight with COVID, and um, unfortunately, we're experiencing it. When Mommy Florencia went into isolation, Jeff stayed by the municipal hospital's gate with only a cardboard as his shelter. Amid the challenges, Sun Life's HR team came through for him. Uh, I think it was the second day when I received a call from Dang Lopez, my, my boss, that she was able to arrange a, a private hospital for us. So for me, that was the, the miracle that happened to us. Um, so I was given that window for me to comfort her because I know she's afraid. Um, ayaw niya magpa ICU. Uh, so I, I just let her know that um, parehas tayong lalabas dito. Parehas tayong makarecover from it. Kaya inaapis ko lang siya at that time. Uh, the results came in and eventually uh, I, I tested positive also. Sadly, in April 2021, Mommy Florencia passed away. Developing a post-traumatic stress disorder, Jeff relied on Sun Life's Employee Assistance Program to recover. A therapist helped him process his loss. He is also starting anew in a condo he bought for himself. Now I'm fixing my place. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, work, no? but it, it keeps me busy. It's for me uh, a place where I can start again. I name it after my late mother, so Casa Florencia. He also finds peace in his love for traveling. Today, Jeff's healing journey continues. When my mother passed away, no? uh, I, I, I get to have a sense of why health is very important because our hospital bill is something that you're not prepared to handle and manage, especially if it is too sudden. And with, with that behavior in mind, no, I personally uh, signed up for another plan. No? So I, I, I had a uh, I, 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 I purchased a Sun Life Fit and Well uh, plan. With Sun Life as his partner for life, Jeff is able to move forward with hope for brighter days ahead. His mom remains his inspiration. I hope that she's proud of me in all of the decisions that I'm making. She's happy that I'm with Sun Life, no? and she's very proud that I am a Sun Lifer. That's what it's like to have a partner for life. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing your story. And we're sorry for your loss, but we are with you in this fight. And it's true what they say, you know. Um, in good times and in bad, your lifetime partner or partner for life will always be there for you. Sun Life celebrates the partnerships that make our lives brighter. Dahil ito mismo ang kanyang mission sa buhay ng mga Pilipino to help us achieve a brighter future by being our partner for life. 
by making sure that we achieve lifetime financial security and live healthier lives. Kayo po, kung tatanungin kayo, who is your ideal partner? Anyone? Ako? <laughs> All right. For me, I just want someone who lets me be who I want to be. I want someone who will be there, you know, to walk hand in hand with me. Someone who's there forever and will just love me for what I am. Wow. Or why not all of the above, diba? Right? And you know what the good news is? When it comes to our financial journey, there's a bright partner that has all these qualities. Sun Life, siempre. All right. I know this for a fact because, guys, I've been with Sun Life for more than 10 years. And it's just keep, it just keeps getting better. To tell us more about it, all right, here's the Chief Client Experience and Marketing Officer of Sun Life Philippines, Ms. Carla Gonzalez Chong. Thank, thank you, Piolo. Ako, gusto kita maging partner. Life. Baka <laughs> magalit yung husband ko. Anyway, <laughs> a pleasant afternoon to everyone. And it's so nice to see everyone smiles once again. The past two years have been very difficult. In fact, I'm sure just like me, sawang-sawa na rin kay sa Zoom. And it's very heartwarming that you've braved the rains to join us here today. And again, thank you so much for joining us. Now, for the past two years, we've seen a lot of events that change our lives as we know it. We experienced the COVID-19 pandemic. There's a, there's a war that's happening at the other side of the world. And we've even seen the economy, world economy that is slowing down. And we were not spared in the local front, di ba? So, nakita natin some of our friends and family members getting sick. Unfortunately, some are not here with us anymore today. The prolonged lockdowns also impacted the livelihoods of some of our countrymen. And personally, sa akin, I've experienced a general feeling of anxiety and insecurity. And so... Fortunately, this year, we have seen bright spots emerging. What are those bright spots? With more people getting vaccinated, we've regained our optimism for the future. So now, we can see our loved ones, we can visit family and friends, we are slowly going back to the office. From Sun Life, before, we were work from home, but now, we're already starting to see our beloved office mates and family members. And so, the lessons from the pandemic actually gave us confidence to look to the future with hope. And this is, in fact, validated by a client study that we recently implemented early part of this year. We asked our Sun Life clients, what are your goals for the year? And as you can see in the screen flash today, their short-term goals actually mirror what they want to achieve in the form of their financial needs. Top of it would be investing for the future, building a retirement fund for themselves, building their own emergency funds, and even looking at health insurance. This same short-term goals are actually mirrored then sa kanilang long-term goals. So kung mapapansin nyo, halos hindi nag-iiba, ba? Ang difference lang would be, some would already set aside some form of, fa form of money for travel. But as you can see there, flash on the screen, nandyan pa rin yung retirement, investments, health insurance. And so these particular financial goals and needs, we say, if people are ready to prepare for the future, Sun Life is here to help them achieve their financial goals, even during these uncertain times. And this is mirrored by the many client stories that you've heard a while ago that Piola related today. We hope these stories of bright partnerships inspire you to go after your own goals as well. We take inspiration from the story of Joey, as you saw a while ago in the video earlier, her drive to pursue her goals actually helped turn her world around. The story of Camela 
and her husband allowed her to build and grow the business that is successful even during the pandemic. We also saw the story of Jeff. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing your story. I know it's not easy, but we're very fortunate to have you with us here today. And that particular story, we were also very inspired because it allowed him to be the best that he could be for his mother and to live her legacy. We also heard about the story of Piolo and her mother, Tita Ami. Well, close kami kunwari. Tita Ami, who had served also his inspiration in pursuing all of his life goals. These stories and more of Sun Life clients and partnerships are what inspired us to launch this particular campaign today. We also thank Piolo and Janoy. Janoy, thank you so much for allowing us to use your song, Bright Like the Sun, to help us share this message of optimism. And so, allow me to share with you today this particular campaign. Kindly watch this. Who's your ideal partner? It's the way you make me feel. I can be who I want to be. I can never ever be wrong with a love that's bright like the sun. From the moment that we met, I knew it would be something I won't forget. You went ahead and turned my world around with your love that's bright like the sun. Bright Partner with Sun Life, your partner for life. So there you have it, our latest campaign entitled Bright Like the Sun. Our campaign can be seen in all of these media platforms. Please watch out for it on TV, on select billboards, on radio, and even in select Metro Manila cities. We're inviting everyone here today to help us spread the sunshine by joining our mall and TikTok promos for the chance to meet and greet Papa P. O, di ba? Isa pang ano ulit? Meet and greet. All right. And so again, thank you so much for joining us today. And we hope that you choose Sun Life to be your partner in helping you achieve lifetime financial security and live healthier lives. Again, thank you very much to everyone and have a safe trip home. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, the Chief Client Experience and Marketing Officer. Oh, joke lang. <laughs> of Sun Life Philippines, Ms. Carla gonzalez Chong. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's super exciting to be back in front of all of you. In just a bit, we're going to commence with our question and answer portion. So please get your questions ready. Of course, we have the indefatigable Ms. Tess Gooby, who will be assisting us later on in our Q&A. Thank you, Ms. Tess. And once again, saying hello to all those who are joining us from Zoom. All right. But before that, of course, we have a special treat for you because we promised you that he will sing the full song. Medyo patikim pa lang yung kanina, but now we are going to get to enjoy Bright Like the Sun in full. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you need an inspiration or a reminder of the brighter future that you deserve, deserve nyo yan, deserve nating lahat yan, and of course, how a partner for life can help you make it happen, then let this lovely song remind you. Let's welcome back Mr. Janoy Danao. Hello, kumusta kayong lahat? Okay lang kayo? Okay lang. Medyo malamig dito, no? Janoy, before before we let you go ahead and sing that song, I'd sige, like to sige. 
I just remembered that, you know, you have this very beautiful story behind this song, Bright Like the Sun. So, medyo na narinig natin yung lyrics, but could you tell us really what the inspiration behind the song is? Well, actually, um, yung wife ko, um, sinulat namin to nung uh, height ng pandemic. So, um, naisip lang namin na uh, minsan talaga pag uh, sa, sa medyo mahirap na panahon, kailangan mo talaga ng uh, solid na partner. So, kailangan mo ng uh, partner na magiging liwanag actually sa'yo sa pang-araw-araw na nakadiliman minsan. So, yun. Yun yung inspiration. Uh, sinulat namin, kami ang songwriter ng, ng, ng Bright Like the Sun, uh, Sun actually. Yung wife ko. And yung sarili mong partner for yes, life, yes, right? Yes. And see, you know, this is just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that even through the most difficult times like this pandemic that we are going through, something good can still come out of it. Piola was talking earlier about how it made him cherish his relationship with his mother more. And now Janoy is able to come up with this masterpiece with the help of uh, his lovely wife. And so now, eto na. Janoy, thank you for sharing your song with us and we're looking forward to hearing it at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Janoy Dano. Thank you. I think uh, ilalabas yata yung lyrics so baka kung gusto nyo nga well, hindi nyo pa alam talaga yung song. Nasa Spotify yung song ha, so pwede nyo pakinggan.
Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Mr. Janoy Danao. What a feel-good song, you know, really with all that optimism that Carla was talking about. And it's exactly what we need, you know, as, as we try to move forward now that the world is slowly opening up again. And this is our chance to move forward and have that really positive outlook as we do so. So, you know, a round of applause once again for Janoy Danao, ladies and gentlemen. Such a lovely song that truly encapsulates the people who bring out the best in us with their love and support. Now, it's just like what you all saw in the new Sun Life video in Diba when you're starting a business, you're enjoying a simple hobby, you're pursuing advocacies. It's always better when you have a bright partner. And the featured stories of Joey, Camela, and Chef are all a testament to these as well. So, pagkwentuhan po natin yan. As we open the floor for questions, let me bring back in Sun Life Chief Client Experience Officer and uh, Marketing Officer, Ms. Carla Gonzalez Chong, our featured partner for life story mr jeff viri and also our sun life brand ambassador mr piolo pasqual as we also invite miss tess there she is ready to assist hello. with our q a hello, hello everyone miss tess to see you again I, of so course long. we missed you miss tess we missed, we missed you. you so much oh. Let me just get the ball rolling, Miss Tessa, by asking first si Carla. Carla, we're talking about a partner for life, you know, sa ganitong klase ng panahon. But when it comes to a financial journey, what kind of a partner should people be looking for? Is it just the same as humanap ka ng kaibigan? Or is there something more that you should be looking for? Okay, so parang given na yun, di ba, na if you want a partner for life, it really has to be someone that you share the same values with. And so that includes financial values, personal values, so that you can see eye to eye. But apart from that, also, siguro the qualities that I would look for for a financial advisor would be encapsulated into three things, Len. The first one is to be professional, sana, yung makikita nila na financial advisor. Why is it important? Of course, when you're talking about money, you need someone who you can trust with with your money. So that, that would be the very minimum, no? a professional financial advisor. The second one would be inspiring. As what we saw a while ago in the story of Joey, her financial advisor, Rochelle, actually inspired her to go after her goals and to really have the financial discipline to work on her money. And the third would be you want also financial advisor who cares after your success, di ba? Kasi your success means the success also of your own financial advisor. And I hope those qualities would also guide everyone in choosing their own financial advisors. Thank you so much, Carla. I move on to Piolo now. Yes. Piolo, anong qualities naman yung hinahanap mo sa akin? <laughs> Anong qualities ang hinahanap mo when it comes to a partner for life? You know, Secretary Berna. Ganito kasi. <laughs> um, well, top of mind, as you were asking, Carla, the question was dependability. You need somebody that is dependable. Because otherwise, uh, you'll just pull each other down. Diba? And somebody that has financial literacy, somebody that can help you uh, decide and, you know, advise you or tell you where to put your money or how to use your money wisely. And somebody that you can really trust, just like what you said. Because mahirap, mahir, mahirap when it comes to money, di ba? Parang, uh, we're always after our success to have more money, to have more financial freedom. But at the end of the day, if your partner is not on the same page, of course, it's not going to be as healthy. So somebody that, you know, you can share... Actually, I, I would just like to echo what Carla was saying. You know, you share the same values when it comes to uh, financial uh, literacy. And I think, I think that's it. And somebody that would uh, really care for your uh, welfare and that, that really cares for you. Actually, very much so. And with that, you know, I'd like to segue to Jeff now. Jeff, you are a testament to this because truly Sun Life has been your partner both as an employee and also as an actual client yourself. So, you know, at this point in your journey, tuloy yung buhay, 
you're pursuing your your goals, your dreams. How is Sun Life, you know, being a partner to you in achieving those dreams? Uh, you know what, Lenny? I've celebrated my 11 years in the company. Uh, it is a, such a milestone to be in a company that takes care of you, your, uh, the employees, no? And especially during the, the height of pandemic, no? Where everything is in lockdown. And we're very thankful because we still have our salary, we still have our benefits. So can you imagine if, we, if, I, don't, if I don't have that, ano, I, won't, I wouldn't be able to pay the bill of my mother because it's just really too high, no? So uh, being with Sun Life, it helps me also to uh, instill the value of financial planning, being able to discipline my wealth because I've accumulated wealth through my 11 years in the company and diversify my income as well. So through Sun Life, no, it gives me that opportunity to live, uh, to live a life where I don't have to worry about my finances for as long as I'm in the right track of uh, managing my wealth. There you go. Definitely a partnership, right? Thank you so much, Jeff, for sharing that. And now I move on to Ms. Tess. Hello, Len. Hello, everyone. Okay, our first question is from Salve Asis, of course, Entertainment Editor, Filipino Star. Ngayon. Hi, Ms. Salve. Hi. Hi, Papa P. Hi, Salve. Hi. <laughs> Flash ako. Papa P, lagi nating minimension yung word na, Oy, this is, uh, ano, um, this is my partner in life. So, kailan kaya namin maririnig na ipapakilala mo kami sa partner in life mo? Ako rin, iniintay ko yun eh. <laughs> Game? Tsaka, tsaka uh, during the pandemic ba, di mo naisip na, oy, sana may partner in life ako, nakasama ako dun aside from my mom. Alright, to tell you honestly, uh, during this pandemic, I, I realized it's not about having a partner uh, per se, uh, physically, but it is about having the independence you know, to just uh, live your life one day at a time. And so this pandemic has taught me a lot of discipline and it taught me to just really appreciate life for whatever it gives you by the day. And so for me, um, <laughs> it's hard to put it in words, but it's uh, if and when it comes, then of course I will have to introduce her to you or I'll, I will have to really, of course, be proud of that feeling and just share it with everybody. But uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's not something that I see on the horizon anywhere uh, uh, near. So just focus on my work, just focus on whatever I have uh, in hand and let's see where it takes me. Oh, thank you. Uh, next question. Uh, Papa P, since, di ba, with Sun Life, super secure na yung future mo, hindi mo naisip na mag-retire sa showbiz? Well, actually, I said that before I turned 40. I'm 45. And okay. I was talking to uh, Derek Cathy the other day, Derek Cathy Garcia, who did the Kumu uh, serie. And she just signed with uh, ABS for a couple of years. So I told her, sabi ko, Derek, huwag na tayo magsasabi ng retirement. <laughs> Kasi parang hindi naman din natutuloy. So, I mean, for me, I... This is, this is my passion. I, I, I love what I do, and being in this business gives me meaning. So I was, I guess, being immature when I wanted, oh, feeling burnt out, you know, back then. And it, you can call it a midlife crisis, you know, because you're too uh, loaded up with work. And at this point in my life, I just want to continue doing what I'm doing. And this is really, you know, something that I really appreciate. You know, being in this business, being in front of you guys and just sharing my life. So, just the same thing. It's, it's not on the horizon for me, retiring and all. As long as I feel I'm needed in this business or there's something that I can contribute, then I'll stay on. Thank you so much. Thank Ms. you so much, Miss Salve. Okay. And I would just like to uh, make a follow-up on that by asking Carla. <laughs> No, kasi di ba, parang we all know that Yolo is already very much financially secure no matter what uh, he decides to do next in his life. But to get there, for example, for people like Jeff, for example, na meron pang pinupursu ng mga goals. Carla, can you share with us exactly how do we plan for that? What do we do first for those who have no idea where to begin? Okay, so I think that's a very good question, Nolan. Siguro that conversation would start with me asking everyone 
what is your picture of a perfect retirement? Diba? So, of course, having a perfect retirement, maybe it's an ideal, but having that picture grounds your financial plan. And then when you have that picture of a retirement, now it's time to take a hard look at the numbers. Ito na, dito na papasok ang financial advisor. Kasi yung numbers, yung numero, dun sa nakikita ninyo sa perfect retirement ninyo, dun makakatulong yung financial advisor on how that person can help you achieve that goal. And when you have that picture of retirement, the product solutions that will be offered to you will also match that. So for an example, personally, okay, so personally, I'm sure you might be asking, oh Carla, but naisip mo na kagad yung retirement? It seems like I'm far from it. Just like Piolo, I mean, I love what I do. And so, continuing in this business, I wanted to have a picture of what my retirement is. So as early as I started working, I, I was actually already putting aside a little bit of my salary into retirement. And what were those financial solutions that were offered to me by Sun Life? We have a variable life insurance plan, which ensures that I'm financially protected, but at the same time, my premiums are being invested towards certain funds that, are matches, that matches my risk profile. So I would say, talk to a financial advisor to help you get to that perfect retirement. Thanks, Carla. Jeff, ikaw na ang susunod. <laughs> Kasi di ba, parang of course, it's not easy for us to come face to face with, you know, uupo tayo. Asan ba talaga ako in my financial journey? How much do I have? How much am I lacking? That's a hard conversation to have with yourself. Jeff, how did you face that uh, moment where you had to really sit down, consider your expenses, and then take action? Anong mindset dapat ang meron? Well, when I started with the company, I don't have any idea about insurance, to be honest. So, I didn't know how to plan my finances. I don't know how to put aside money. All I know is just to put it in a bank and handle the savings. So, I started out having my uh, SunFlexiLink product. No, It's an insurance investment uh, product. And that's how I started to basically grow my, my money. And just recently, as you've seen in the video, um, Imagine the finances that I have to deal with with my mother, no, because the bill is almost a million, <laughs> to to be honest about it. And I don't know how to pay off, uh, no, the the loan that I need to deal with and all of those, no. So it's a wake up call for me. Uh, so it 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 was the time where I'm looking for a product who can handle the hospital bills, no, because I don't want to depend on anyone from the family. So I, I purchased the Sun Life uh, Fit and Well Advantage uh, that I, I rely on, especially if you know something bad might happen. So I feel more secured. I feel comfortable that in the future I don't have to rely on anyone, especially in handling the the medical expenses because mahal eh, mahal mag mag. Mag, magpa hospital mm -hmm. I don't know how magkano na ulit in the coming years to come. So, I need to be financially ready. True. Kasi really, the pandemic really opened us up to our vulnerabilities, di ba? When it comes to our finances, when it comes to our health. And now with that, we move on. First to a virtual question. I think we have a question from our friends over at Zoom. Can we flash the question, please? Okay, so this is a question from Miss Marie Chris of Hatao sa taga Sun Life. Good noon po. Ano pong qualities ni Papa P bukod sa guapo at malakas ang dating, masinop at mabait? Na meron siya that for so many years now ay siya pa rin ang endorser ng Sun Life. I think that's actually a very good question. This is one of Piolo's longest relationships, ang Sun Life, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> Carla, please take that on. Well, Piolo is also our partner for life. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure if everyone knows, but when we started, when Piolo and Sun Life started, it was actually out of accident, no? Parang, ano lang yon because Sun Life wanted to donate um, uh, a certain amount to the victims of the typhoon. And so, we came across the Hebrew Foundation. It's being headed by Piolo's sister, Shiki. Hi, Chiki, are you here? Uh, and so, Chiki 
And that started our relationship with Piolo. And then eventually, we went on to several endeavors. Uh, from that um, charitable effort, we launched Sun Piology. And then, naging, ano na rin siya, naging brand ambassador na rin namin. And so, if you ask us what are the qualities of Piolo that have become, uh, that allowed us to be partners for life with Piolo, it's number one, Hindi na naman ata na itatago ito ni Piolo, pero isa siyang kuripot. <laughs> so for us, as I've mentioned a while ago, Sun Life also values people that share the same values as us. And so being financially disciplined, we thought that Piolo was the perfect brand ambassador. Apart from that, he also has secured his finances, not just with, be, with being uh, uh, a good steward of his money, but also having the financial, uh, the foresight to have a financial plan with regards to all of his financial needs. So be it health, be it retirement, even for the education of his child. So lahat ng yon nakita namin kay Piolo. So I would say really, Piolo is the perfect partner for life. Aww. <laughs> And really, no, because if you can observe, when it comes to endorsements for celebrities, these are usually short term. It lasts for a while and then you see them probably with another brand or endorsing something else. But for Piolo and Sun Life, it, it's been so many years now and we're still going strong and we're very definitely happy to have Piolo on board, especially when it comes to promoting our advocacy. And with that, we move on to Miss Tess again for the next Follow question. Follow up, anong reaction ni Piolo? Oh, reaction daw to that. I would say that uh, uh, there is parallelism uh, in terms of what uh, Miss Carla was saying. Uh, I guess from the get-go, I knew for a fact that, you know, uh, showbiz life is fleeting. So I had to save up. I had to work so that I could have some something for the future. And early on in my life, I secured my insurance right away. I don't know, maybe my mom uh, taught us that you have to save up for the future, that this is not going to be forever. And so that's why even my sister, uh, when Sun Life became a partner uh, with our foundation, uh, it was the same time that my sister also moved to Sun Life and became a financial advisor. So since then, my sister and I have been talking every year as to you know which plan or what kind of policy we can get. So there's always that growth, there is progression. So we're uh, growing at the same time, at the same pace, and it, you know, it encourages me to always give it my best because I know Sun Life is also, you know, pushing the envelope and not resting on their laurels. So you know, it's it's a it's it's a good relationship that I, you know, would want to keep for for some time. I hope. <laughs> I'd like to build up on that a bit by, you know, Piolo is of course talking as a brand ambassador and at the same time as a client, but as an employer. Jeff, can you share a bit about your experience? What makes you stay at Sun Life? Um, how does it help you in your own personal goals? Okay, I'd always go back to the experience I've had, especially during lockdown. No? When a lot of companies are unfortunately closing down, cutting down the salaries of everyone, even up to the point of retrenchment. No? But the comp uh, Sun Life keeps its promise of uh, sustaining the, um, the the talent, keeping its talent, keeping its resources, and even empowering our employees. No, San uh, Kanakita ng company that would give a wellness day off, no, to everyone because we're pretty much uh, after the the mental health of our people, uh, check, uh, checking their uh, how how they do their work, no, and how they basically manage their time. So for me. Sunlift uh, recently got its award, being the great place to work. And it's, it's not just an award, no, but it's the people who voted for the company to be a great place to work. So I can attest to that. Thank you so much, Jeff, for sharing that. Uh, Ms. Tess, a question from you before we go to the virtual again. Yeah, before I call Neil, my reaction lang from Ms. Ian, of course, the president of Speed and, of course, entertainment editor. Hi, Papa P. Kanina kasi someone said that you're karipot. Actually, it's not true. <laughs> um, in kami terms ang, kami, <laughs> ang speed uh, witness sa pagiging generous mo. Sobrang open uh, to help groups na 
nangangailangan ng tulong when it comes to kunyari, mga outreach programs namin, you were always there to support us. So thank you, thank Papa you, P. Thank you. And Aww. God bless you more. Partner for life then si Piolo ng Speed. I like oh, it. Yes. <laughs> and we're proud of it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yes, agree. Okay. Neil Ramos, of course, Entertainment Editor of Tempo. Uh, magandang hapong, Papa P. <laughs> Boss, yes, uh, gusto ko lang malaman ko ano specifically yung mga plans na... Ay, marami. Carly, you want to talk mo, about yeah. it? Uh, my sister actually is here as well. But uh, I actually just wanted to uh, share about Fit and Well. Because like what Jeff is saying, it's really, you know, uh, going beyond your insurance. Because it really protects you from all il from illnesses and for emergencies, and it's just, you know, parang, uh, that's why I said there's parallelism with Sun Life because as, as the years progress, there's always a new plan, there's always a new policy, there's always something better that you can choose. There's an, it's not just about getting an insurance; it's about broadening your uh, your 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 portfolio and knowing that there are other policies that you can actually use to solidify your financial. Uh, Dependency, independency, dependency. Kaya <laughs> ba? So uh, I have so much. <laughs> I have more than a dozen policies. So every year, whatever is new, I always get it because I know that you know it. It, it really helps me secure my future, not just for myself but also for my family. I'm okay, but I, I also do this for for my family, my mom, my kid, my siblings, and everyone else. So. Uh, dami natin, ano eh, iba-iba kasi yung policies natin eh. my, my gosh, but I, I just really, uh, when Jeff was uh, sharing his story about Sun Fit and Well, it's parang my favorite for now because it, it really protects you, especially if you're active and is, you know, uh, in, in, in life, you know, there are accidents, there are uh, circumstances na hindi natin ma, mapipigilan and, you know, there's so much protection when you get these policies, so, uh, ano ba yung, Pinaka Gusto mo ba maximum? i-reveal ko, Piolo? <laughs> <laughs> Marami kasi. <laughs> Marami si totoo yan. <laughs> Every year I get, I would get one or two just to make sure that, you know, uh, there, there's, there, there's something to it. I don't know, Carla, we want to talk know, about I, the policies. I'd like, I'd like to build up on that question by asking Carla, ilan ba exactly ang dapat na meron ka? Yun nga eh, kasi dapat we, sorry, uh, we always uh, think in our head, just one insurance is fine, one policy is fine, but it's not, it's not. You know, I always share it with my colleagues in the business. I always, uh, like sila Robby, when, when I'm in ASAP or when I'm in the studio, I would always tell them, you know, one policy is not enough. Not because I endorse on life, but because it's really practical. So, Ms. Carla? <laughs> um, actually, my advice is, the way we look at our products and solutions and even our own financial needs, because there are several, diba? So the first one would be, I would say, um, protection, financial protection, um, especially if you have dependents relying on your income for their day-to-day -day needs, so that's one. The second would be, as Piolo and Jeff's and my favorite product, something for health, because we know, mahal magkasakit, and just one big critical illness, it can wipe our savings. So that's my second. And then the third financial need is if you want to build a fund for your life goals, like retirement, or probably also education of your children, business, and even, you know, just to grow your money. And so we also have products that can help you take, ta uh, can help you with those goals. So I would say three things, life, health, and wealth. Oh, life, health, and wealth. Let's take note, everybody, ayan, parang bucket list natin yan when it comes to considering our financial portfolio. Okay, um, with that, let's move on first to the virtual question, please. Rather, the question from our guests via Zoom. From FK Bravo of pep.ph. Um, this is for Piolo. How has Sun Life influenced your process of purchase decision? And then, how often do you splurge before and after joining Sun Life. Sige, dun muna tayo sa question number one, Piolo. Gano kadalas ka or gano ka tindi ka mag splurge before uh, joining Sun Life and after joining Sun Life? Uh, sabi ni Carla, di ba kuripot ako? <laughs> <laughs> kuripot uh, sa sarili. I'm, 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 I'm very frugal uh, when it comes to finances because it's hard-earned money. So you have to be practical and you have to be wise. 
And uh, before I joined Sun Life, uh, I already had insurances. I already had policies. And even after, uh, I still practice the same thing. I would never overwhelm myself with so much spending. But I would treat myself once in a while, reward myself and my family, some vacation. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Um, I guess it's all about uh, putting something aside, you know, knowing that uh, this is not going to be forever. You know, it's something temporary. So you have to make sure that you're practical and you have to put your money, some, of, some part of your money aside so that you have something for the future. Mm -hmm. It's very practical. Very practical. Eto, you were talking about travel. The next question is, what are your pre-travel habits? Do you do a thorough computation? Kung magkano gagastosin ko? Meron ba akong limit for this trip? Sa pagdating sa gastos ko. <laughs> my pre-travel habits, uh, my, my family is growing. Uh, we were just in uh, Boracay last week. We were 18 or 20. And now we're spending our holidays, the Christmas and New Year's in, uh, in, uh, in, a, in a country in Asia. And... I would, I would say that I would bring my family. I would consider my family because, you know, I can always travel. I can always uh, do my uh, travels whenever I want to. But being with family is a very, you know, important thing because you want to share this, the memories with them. So for now, when I travel, I always consider my family. I always consider the kids because I want them to spend time with, my, with their parents, my siblings, and my mom. And I always consider my mom because, you know, uh, she's 76. So I always uh, take into consideration, you know, how much time she can walk or uh, how much she can handle in terms of going around town. And in terms of budgeting, uh, of course, you try to uh, book ahead of time. You really try to plan ahead of time. So it's more expensive. It's more expensive. It's more expensive. You have to be practical at the end of the day, especially if you're spending for everyone. <laughs> But other than that, uh, you just go with the flow. As long as you with your loved ones, then you're okay. Kuripot nga sa sarili, but very generous when it comes to other people. There you go. Um, we have another question, Ms. Tess, from the floor. Yes, before I ask her question, um, Papa P, I love you. Birthday girl, G. Chaliana, entertainment editor. Wow, happy Malaya. birthday! <laughs> happy birthday! Okay, her question is, anong year ka naging financially literate? At sino ang nagturo sa iyo at reason for you to start maging conscious about your finances? I was in the States in the 90s, late 90s. And then I, I, when I moved back here in 98, I thought, of course, it's just, I was just like what I was saying a while ago, this is not going to be forever. So I came back here to work and just really save up. So early on in my career, I was, I was in probably, I was in my early 20s. I already got my, 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 my policies, I already got my insurance. And even for my nieces, my, my, my son, I got him uh, an educational plan and just to secure everything. So uh, it's always been, you know, parang for me, you, you, you don't spend what you earn. You, you save it up. You, 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 you save for the rainy days. And lumaki kasi ako sa paluwagan eh, in school. Diba? Alam, alam naman natin yung paluwagan. So, you know, you keep your money in the bank or you keep your money you know, with the leader of the group, and then after a while, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, you see your money and it grew. Parang, you know, it gives you that pride that you have discipline. So early on in my life, I, I knew that, you know, you need to save your money, because uh, it's, it's what can give you financial freedom. Um, I would say my, my first purchase of a house, I had to loan it, and after that, Hindi na ako nagloan, parang I just really worked nonstop and took advantage of the opportunity that came my way. So um, I never changed my lifestyle, you know. So I I wouldn't want to say that I was uh, financially independent, but I just relied on, uh, I guess, you know, the savings I had, and just you know uh, never you know lived beyond my means. So, with Sun Life's help and uh, with my sister as my financial advisor, I, I just realized that there are other ways that you can save up for the future and for your family. All right. Thank you so much, Piolo, for sharing that. And I believe you have a question for, oh, not for virtual. So, one last from the floor. Okay. 
We have three actually. Three. Can we accommodate three. Okay, okay, sige. Okay. Miss mo natin yung ano, mga face-to-face na press ko. <laughs> Sobra. Nakaka-miss. Okay, we have John Bueno of Kumagaw.com. Hey, John. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I'll, I'd like to address my question to Miss Carla. Um, since you're representing Sun Life um, right now, how has the pandemic affected the financial stability of the company? Of course, with the pandemic, a lot of people might probably have gotten their, um, you know, uh, shares or um, claims, as so they may say. Um, and this is actually going to rock, of course, the finances of Sun Life as well. Has it been stable so far? And have you given all, you know, the claims that are for uh, the customers of Sun Life? Okay, so thanks for that question. <laughs> um, okay, so it, well, the short answer is it did not affect the stability of Sun Life. As uh, shared by Jeff a while ago, um, Sun Life has been a, uh, we didn't retrench any of our employees. Our salaries are still kept intact. But apart from that, I would say last year we settled around 6 billion. 6.5 billion in claims. Um, uh, of course, it, it, it spiked a bit during the pandemic, mm -hmm. but we're fully able to settle all of those claims. In fact, Sun Life is the number one life insurance company in the country, and we have been the num undisputed leader for the past 11 years. Apart from that, I would say Sun Life is a, is a resilient company. We've been here in the Philippines for hundred, more than 125 years, and, we, uh, and it's a commitment that we've made to this country, and we will remain to be a financially stable and resilient one. Um, I, I remember uh, listening to the presentation earlier about Joey. Uh, she's an OFW. Do you have products that specifically were taken by Joey that really helped her as an OFW? And you probably don't have like a template, I'm sure, uh, for one specific client. But does Sun Life have products specific targeted for OFWs? It really depends, as you said. So what we do, are, what our financials, financial advisors would do is to sit down with all of our clients, um, find out about their financial goals, and apart from that, um, help them manage their money. And so after having a discussion or a conversation about those goals, that's the time that the advisor will actually recommend the product suitable to your budget, to your needs, and to your goals. So it's not really one size fit, fits all. It really depends. But what's the, like, the newest one that you launched? Okay, so the newest one we launched, in the past two years, we've launched mostly health insurance products because, of course, there's a demand. Mm -hmm. So what Piolo and Jeff mentioned a while ago, Sun Fit and Well, um, it's, uh, we launched it back in 2016. But apart from that, we also launched Sun ICU Protect, mm -hmm. which is a severity-based critical insurance product that, uh, that provides cash benefits in case of uh, hospitalization. Apart from that, uh, apart from our health insurance products, recently we also launched some global, uh, global equity funds that would allow ordinary Filipinos to access uh, global equity markets to help uh, grow their money. All right, thank you. Um, Jeff, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, was it easier for you because you were a Sun Life employee? rather than just being a client, per se? Okay. Um, well, to be an employee, no, uh, it, it gives me that uh, safety of having the salary and the benefits and all. Mm -hmm. But having to be a, being also a client myself, no, uh, I was able to build my, my, my wealth no, and having to have the discipline when it comes to my finances. So uh, just recently, I purchased my own place. <laughs> without having to <laughs> go through the bank because the loan is medyo masakit. So, um, 
going back to the question kanina, is there a specific product that I can recommend or something like that? It would really depend on what you need as of the moment. And for now, what's important for me is to have my, my future fund, which is for my retirement, because I al already have my health protection plan, which is my Sun Life Fit and Well Advantage. And because of that, no, um, yeah, I was able to <laughs> buy my own place without having to worry about for it. I'd like to build up on that by saying that one advantage we have as employees kasi is that we actually have a staff assurance program. So this is a program where we are able to get products and it's uh, through salary deduction. So the financial discipline really comes in because it's automatically deducted, making it also more convenient for you. And at the same time, you know, when you're in a financial services company, and dami mong pwedeng pagtanungan eh, di ba? I mean, of course, we have our Sun Life Advisors as well. But we are colleagues with experts themselves. So it really is very easy for us to consult. So that is a very big advantage that we have as Sun Life employees. In fact, our very own CEO, Mr. Benedict Season, siya mismo, he comes up with all these uh, bite-sized videos just to share tips to employees about his own financial journey. So, you know, the dream of a brighter future is not just for the clients, but also for the employees and advisors of Sun Life. So that's it. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you ma'am. Um, my last question is for, of course, uh, Sir Piolo. Um, you've managed to amass, of course, your own financial uh, goals over the years. But what has been one thing that you regret not doing um, or not purchasing for yourself? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't think there's anything that I would want to look back on and regret not having it. I just want to keep on pressing forward. And if there's anything, because I'm, I'm, I'm not a materialistic person, so I'm, I'm not the type to, you know, uh, want something and regret, you know, uh, missing out on that chance. Mm, career choices, I guess. Uh, there are some roles that I uh, passed on, but I just thought maybe you know it would have worked. But it's it's not for me to dwell uh, and just regret. Wala naman. Hopefully, wala naman sana. But merong missed opportunities, you say, and um, meron bang particular na role ito? Marami. Marami, you know, I, I would I would be offered like scripts or roles, of course, uh, since you're uh, exclusive with a network, mm -hmm. it's hard to uh, at, at least, least you know uh, make paalam or mm -hmm. grab that chance because you're tied up, and there there are some that I I wish I I did, I just I just can't remember any of it. But now that you know, I'm I don't got any contract. Uh, I just go with the flow, you know. Um, and Piolo, um, are there any like news of you having an international project like sometime soon? I'm leaving for the states uh, in a couple of days, oh. and we'll we'll go from there. I have uh, I have a tour with Sam uh, in in some states, and let's see how it's gonna pan out. Um, my f my producer friend uh, from LA wants me to kind of you know build something in the states, but I have to be there. Mm -hmm. But my heart is here, so I don't know uh, if there's a solid offer. Yeah, mm -hmm. why not? But it's you know for me, I I, I I don't think I have to be in the states to do something international. Okay. We have talks with uh, some streaming platforms. And uh, we're doing some some something uh, for the global market, and hopefully we get to do it uh, without having to leave the country and just really champion our content and show it globally. So um, in detail, walape, but uh, there are some talks, and hopefully uh, we can land something and show it and you know, something that we can be proud of as Filipinos. And it's good that you're manifesting it already. Oh, thank you. Thank and you, bro. Congratulations. Down to our last two questions. We have here Alan Sangon of Stars Photography. 
Hi, good, good afternoon. Hi, Piolo. Hi po, to everyone. I just want to ask muna yung question ko kay Miss Carla. Sabi nga nila, parang mas matagal pa daw yung partnership ni Piolo sa inyo kaysa sa partnership niya sa kanyang love life. <laughs> Di ba? Ano po yung sekreto po ng long partnership with Piolo? And uh, ano po yung nagawa ng isang Piolo Pascual mula nang maging part siya ng Sun Life? Grabe kayo kay Piolo. <laughs> Joke lang. Well, I would say because as mentioned a while ago, he's really the perfect financial literacy advocate. So even before um, our partnership, Piolo has been living uh, the values of a uh, good financial steward. And so yung impact niya sa Sun Life is actually malaki, I would say. Because first and foremost, a lot of Filipinos became financially aware of the need to actually look after their goals, financial goals. Second is to have a financial plan. Because even if you have a goal, but you don't have a plan, then you won't be able to achieve it. So I would say yun yung pinakamalaking impact ni Piolo with our partnership. Thank you, Ms. Carla. Yung tanong ka no, sorry Piolo, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a question. <laughs> I just want to ask Piolo, kasi parang sinabi mo kanina yung ideal mo sa pagiging partner in life and that is sun life, di ba? Pero curious lang kami, ano naman yung, yung ideal partner in life? Talagang ideal girl, partner in life mo. Para naman din sa mga kababaihan like si... Oh, <laughs> baka, makaturo si Kuya Alan sa akin. <laughs> Paano mo alam? Para curious lang sila ano yung hinahanap ng isang Piola Pascual na magiging partner in life soon. Magaling maglaba. Magaling. Hindi, <laughs> biro lang. Content. <laughs> um, I, 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 you don't actually uh, look for that. Di ba? Parang kasi pag dumating na yun, yun na yun eh. So, it's hard to have a criteria or a requirement because when you feel it, uh, I think that that, that will only that will only happen or you will be able to find the words when you see that person and you, you go from there. Hindi kasi ako naghanap eh. Yun ang mahirap dun eh. But if, you know, uh, there would come a time uh, for me to settle down, um, I wouldn't have any criteria or a requirement, so to speak, because at the end of the day, it's, it's you know, uh, it's about the heart. It's about your feelings. So if you feel something for that person, then that person uh, might have something that really, uh, you know, uh, complements you or gives you that feeling of excitement and feeling, you know, that you have to be with someone. So... Wala, 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 wala naman siguro. Hindi, hindi, hindi naman hinahanap yun. Dumarating na lang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the love that shines bright like the sun. Amen. <laughs> Pero Piola, do you believe in the idea? Ideal girl. Yung idea ng ideal girl. I believe in destiny. I believe in something that happens out of fate. Something that happens out of divine intervention or divine appointments. And I believe it's. I believe in magic. I believe in something that is, you know, uh, you know, electrifying. Uh, of course, when that person comes, then that person will be the ideal partner. Last piala, may ano yun? Yeah, may pala of lang ako. Kasi parang shiner mo kanina yung experience mo with your mother, yung 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 kan yung yung relationship with her. Ano yung inahanap mo sa isang girl na mayroon yung mother mo, na sana mayroon din yung magiging partner in life mo soon. Values, you know, and yung, your, your, your heart is in the right place. And love for family, love for our country, and just having that uh, relationship with the Lord. Yo. Thank you, Piolo, and congratulations. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> Thanks kay Alan. Sorry, may pahabol from Mami Jo Bonsol. Pakitanong kay Papa P kung may secure kang part ng katawan mo, ano yun? Mata. <laughs> Yun ang binabayaran eh. <laughs> Doon ako kumikita eh. <laughs> okay, last. We have Tito Eugene Asis. Hi, Sir Eugene. Hi. Uh, last na pala ako. Anyway, uh, yung mga sinabi mo kanina, mga traits, dependable, marunong maglaba. Parang parang nakita ko kay Moy, bien yan. Pero, no, it's just a, just a joke. Anyway. Uh, Nakita ko rin sa kanya yun eh, tinalikuran ko bigla eh. <laughs> okay. Parang hindi naman. <laughs> okay. 
Mamaya na yung, ano, yung question for you. Uh, my first question is for either Carla or Jeff. Uh, kasi may mga taong nagsasabi that insurance is more of a gamble than insurance talaga. Uh, how would you explain that? Well, for me, unless you've experienced what I've experienced with my mother, no, uh, especially when you look at the, you know, the hospital bill increasing up and piling up. So I don't want to experience the same thing to me. no. So that's one thing that I would say in the future, I don't have to worry that you know, yung, yung hospitalization is something might happen to me because I feel more secure that I have a plan already. So uh, for those who are saying na, oh, um, para sa specific market lang insurance and all, because emergency does happen. No? Some, some of us, hindi naman na-anticipate kung kailan or kung ano mangyayari sa atin. So it's always a good idea that at least no, the back of your mind, you have that security, the feeling of security because you're depending on a certain product. And that for me is an life, uh, sun fit and well advantage. So for me naman, I think I'd throw the question back at you. No? So, so if some people feel that insurance is a gamble, my question is, what is the price of your peace of mind? So probably for other people, it's a gamble. But uh, personally, I would say I value my peace of mind more. As Jeff mentioned a while ago, we don't know what will happen in our lives. Merong, um, there are certain knowns in life, like old age, like um, having children probably for some, retiring. Those are knowns in life. But there are unknowns too, like getting sick or passing away too early. And so, would you want to gamble on that risk, is my question. And for me, and I also encourage more Filipinos to not take that gamble, because having peace of mind is more important. And uh, that peace of mind also ensures that our family, families or our loved ones would also have that same peace of mind. Thank you. At yung peace of mind na yun, I think, nakikita ko kay TJ eh. Uh, Talaga ano siya, may peace of mind. Anyway, uh, my question is, yung uh, sa pagiging ano mo, endorser ng Sun Life, uh, without ano, uh, encroaching much about your mga private investment, ano is, sa, ano, sa tingin mo yung pinakamalaking investment na nagawa mo out of your ano, talent piece from Sun Life? When I invested when I was in my 20s, I'm in my 40s and it's been 20 years, so... I have a pension that I can rely on anytime. So I have, I have a pension that gives me a certain amount every year, and I'm just 45 because I started early. What about tangible, like uh, production or whatever? Uh, some investment? Uh, spring films, kasi abunado pa ako eh. <laughs> so, ano siya? Totoo ba yan? Minsan, minsan na jackpot kami, minsan abunado. So it's just a pro proper balance. But investment-wise, I would say, you know, aside from my insurances, uh, which I started uh, more than 20 years ago, real estate. Real estate is something that I've uh, been focusing on uh, since I started in this business. Mami V, Vilma Santos, was the one who told me about it when I was doing Tecata 70 because she said that's what saved her real estate. So from the time that I started in my 20s, I would just buy... Uh, aside from the policies that I would get on the side, I would invest on real estate. So, yung po yung naging uh, portfolio ko, aside from showbiz. Thank you very much. Thank At uh, marami kang na-inspire. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, wow, great conversations in Deepu ba? Thank you so much, Carla, Jeff, and of course, Piolo, for, you know, sharing all those stories, all those tips, all those lessons, and of course, accommodating all the questions. I'm very sure, like, you know, what Sir Eugene said, everybody was inspired by all the things that were shared today. So, ladies and gentlemen, the question for you all now is, who is your ideal partner. So if there's one thing we all learned in today's media conference, it's that, you know, whether we're talking about our personal lives or our finances, our career path, we should find a partner for life whose love shines 
bright like the sun. Thank you all so much for joining us today. This media conference was brought to you by Sun Life. Thank you so much for accommodating, especially to our, you know, face-to-face uh, -face guests, as well as our guests from Zoom. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Take care and until next time, may we now invite uh, Carla, Jeff, and Piolo, and along with John Oy, to, for a quick photo, please, uh, right here by the stage. Of course, kindly mind your distance from one another, ladies and gentlemen. Let's still be safe even as we are uh, doing a face-to-face -face, uh, press conference na. Ayan, there you go. Oh, do, do, do they need to come forward a bit? Ayan. Okay. Forward ba? Uh, can we ask you guys to uh, step forward a bit? Ayan. There you go. Ayan. Don't forget, Bright Like the Sun is available on Spotify, so please stream that song. And of course, watch out for our Bright Like the Sun TVC coming your way on broadcast and digital very, very soon. A few more shots. Thank you so much once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Beery, Ms. Carla Gonzalez Chong, Mr. John Oidano, and Mr. Piolo Pascual. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure having you with us. Take care and stay safe. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Piolo has another event to go to. So, um, may we request um, for him to <laughs> be given way? There you go. Okay. <laughs> because Piolo will be singing at another event. So, we have to uh, let him uh, go now. <laughs> Thank you. Who's your ideal partner? It's the way you make me feel I can be who I want to be I can never ever be alone With a love that's bright like the sun From the moment that we met I knew it would be something I won't forget You went ahead and turned my world around With your love that's bright like the sun Find your bright partner with Sun Life, your partner for life. Who's your ideal partner? It's the way you make me feel. I can be who I want to be. I can never ever be alone with a love that's bright like the sun. Bright partner with Sun Life, your partner for life.
Who's your ideal partner? It's the way you make me feel. I can be who I want to be. I can never ever be alone with the love that's bright like the sun.